A moss, like all other plants, undergoes a complex life cycle in which the generations alternate between haploid and diploid forms. The most familiar form of the moss is the leafy haploid form, called the gametophyte. Gametophytes are either male or female. The male gametophyte produces male gametes, sperm, inside reproductive structures called antheridia. The haploid gametophyte produces these haploid sperm by mitosis. The female gametophyte produces a female gamete, or egg, inside each of many female reproductive structures called archegonia. Like the sperm, the eggs are haploid and are produced by mitosis. The sexual reproduction of a moss requires water, which is one reason mosses are typically found in moist environments. Sperm cells require water for transport to egg cells. Once in the vicinity of an egg, a sperm cell swims to the egg and fertilizes the egg by fusing with it. The fusion produces a diploid zygote, the first cell of the next generation called the sporophyte generation. The zygote divides by mitosis and grows into a multicellular sporophyte. During the life of the sporophyte, it remains attached to the gametophyte and depends on the gametophyte for water and nutrients. As the sporophyte continues to grow and elongate, the surrounding gametophyte tissue keeps pace, but eventually cracks at its middle. The remaining hood-like tissue at the tip, called the calyptra, protects the growing sporophyte. Underneath the calyptra grows a sporangium filled with thousands of spores. The spores are haploid and are produced when diploid cells of the sporophyte undergo meiosis. When the top of the sporangium is shed, it reveals a ring of teeth-like structures holding in the spores. These teeth are highly responsive to humidity. They arch in and then out again as they absorb water and then dry out. Each time the teeth open out, the spores are released to the wind. A spore that lands on moist ground will germinate, producing a filamentous elongating structure called a protonema. This protonema gives rise to buds, which in turn develop into the next haploid gametophyte generation. The gametophytes in this generation will mate and continue the alternation of generations.